In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the zoom function in Adobe Audition. Now, the zoom function is very useful if you wish to do some very delicate, precise editing of a particular waveform. You will need to have the zoom panel open. Now, I've got my zoom panel open right here because I'm in classic view. Uh, if you can't find it, just go to window and zoom and that should be ticked and you should have it appear somewhere on your desktop. Let's talk through what each of these buttons do. First of all, we have zoom in for amplitude, which is a bit like a vertical zoom. And we can also zoom out for amplitude as well. We can also zoom in for time, which makes it longer, which means that basically you can no longer see the entire waveform on one screen. You can also zoom out again. The fifth button along is as a full zoom out. So if I click on that, it takes me to a complete view of my entire waveform, whether my uh, sound file is 30 seconds long or 30 minutes, it shows the complete waveform. The next few buttons along here give you a few uh, different options here. So if I was to set an, an in point, so as you can see, I've got my red line here, which tells me where I am in the sound. If I click that, it will zoom in to that particular point where I'm working at the moment, which is quite useful. I suppose when you're working with a longer sound and you zoom in, it's quite difficult to get, or it's quite easy to get lost. So if you're able to zoom in on the particular point that you want to work with, that's very useful. Now you've got an in and out point. If you make a selection, so let's, let's select a particular part of this waveform. Now I can use the zoom in again, zoom in point, and it will take me to the beginning of that selection. I can also go to the zoom in at the out point, which lets me zoom in at the end of that selection. What I can also do in this final one is to zoom straight to that selection. So it's taken what I've selected and brought that much uh, closer up, which allows me to do some precise editing. Let's zoom out again. Now, there's another way of zooming in. If you notice at the top here, we have this strip. This strip acts as a sort of a timeline for where we are. It gives us an overview of the whole waveform and which section we're looking at. As you can see, there's a blue border around the edge. And if I just drag this in, I'm zooming in in terms of time. And I can use this slider to move around very quickly instead of using a scroll bar. Um, or the, the side scroll on my mouse, for instance. It lets me just get in precisely where I need to be. You can also click this button at the end here. I'll just show you that again to go to your complete view. So there's two different ways of zooming in and doing some precise editing. 